It was the height of the civil rights movement during the day of Martin Luther King and all the, the, that we had to get the civil rights laws in, the voting rights and everything. When we had the march onto Washington, the Montgomery bus boycott, labor was out front in order to support the movement. That's where I realized that I needed to belong to a union also. So I know within my heart that I had to be out there making some changes within the system on which I was working. It was a glorious sea of humanity, of people of all colors and all types, some holding signs. It was just a, a sense that we were there and we were going to make a difference in history. When you saw those pictures on the TV, but to uh, our consciousness as Americans, mine as a, as a teenager, that terrible things were going on in the South. Everybody, all races was involved in it and they found unfairness that was going on because at that march I saw every race. We farm workers were treated the same way that people in the South, except that in the South they were fighting back. And they were standing up and saying, we're not gonna take this anymore. And I thought that's the way it is in America. There's nothing that you can do to change this. Watching on television, what was going on in the South was uh, life-changing because it did give me a, a sense that you could do something to change the way things were. There are so many strands of the fights for equality and freedom that were going on in the 50s and 60s that we are refighting today. The exciting thing to me is that people are standing up for economic justice and maybe it will grow to the huge river of people that landed in Washington. But I think this time, it's gonna grow in city after city and state after state. We are gonna see more and more people with the courage to stand up and say no. The struggle now is to pass a comprehensive immigration reform to keep 11 million families together in this country. We're still fighting for the rights of many, for the right to be equal in this country. And we're doing the 50th anniversary of this march, you know, and hopefully after this one, maybe things will get better. Will get better. <laughs>